Are you new to RF4 and you're running around like a chicken's head cut off trying to find an active spot at Winding or Mosquito? This game may seem way too complicated. Well, don't worry. Today, I'm going to show you every single active spot that Winding Rivulet and Mosquito Lake has to offer. I'm going to miss a lot of spots because I'm not perfect. I don't know of every single active spot that's out there, but I'm going to show you a few so that you can get started and to get on your way to be making a lot of silver and get your way on to making a lot of XP. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do, first thing, okay, I'm not going to do this because it involves float fishing. When you first start the game off, you're going to probably have two float rods, you know, and maybe one feeder rod. You're just going to want to float around and just build your silver up until you can get enough through the feeder kit. All right. I'm absolutely horrendous when it comes to uh, float fishing. So <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I am not. You don't want to come to me when it comes to float fishing. I am the most terrible float fisherman out there. Uh, <laughs> so just go around. I'll give you a couple hints. All right. Because you have to no matter what. Start with float. Um, Just go off this main dock right here. All right. Put your depth to, to 80 centimeters, all right? Put a tiny hook on. Put a tiny 22, 24, 20. It doesn't really matter. Put it to 70 to 80 centimeter depth, and you're going to be on your way, all right? That will work. Stuff a red worm on there. Stuff a regular worm on there. It'll work, all right? So, what? what well, I say it'll work. But it does. <laughs> I'm just so bad. Like, I'm not bad. It's just that I, I, just, I can't set the hook right. Every time I got a fish on, the fish just doesn't attach and I get really mad so pre from preventing me from getting mad today <laughs> and age quitting we are going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what feeder kit to get first all right so just suffer the consequences all right just suffer it out and float for a little bit until you can grind that silver up just a tiny bit all right so the first thing you're going to do okay is get the feeder fishing start okay I'll show you an alternative from this if you don't want to spend 150 silver, but I would recommend getting three of these for now. You could get two and just stick with the float rod or a spin, okay? But if you're like me and you love bottom fishing, I'd recommend it because A, you're going to get a lot of silver off of it, more than spinning for right now, and B, you're going to get a lot of um a lot more fish okay spinning is all right later in the game but for now when you're trying to get all the silver you're trying to get the most xp just trust me all right go with feeder fishing first it's your fastest alternative so you want to get three of these all right so at the very end of the day 150 uh, i can't believe i was going to actually get my calculator out for this i is so embarrassed <laughs> i'm not doing that we're doing math today boys and girls 149 times 3. God damn, I don't know. 150, 300, <laughs> 450, all right? 450 silver. That's what's going to cost you for three of these. There is a cheaper alternative. Uh, you might be fighting the fish a lot longer, but if you're right with that, you don't want to spend that much silver. Okay, I, I understand. I've been where you were. I, <laughs> I understand that. So, go to feeder rods, all right? You can easily go ahead and just buy a Sorrento, okay? That will work 100%. Just get the cheapest one, 3.2 meters. You got a 4.6 kilogram load capacity. And, you know, the only fish you got to be worried about is pike, at winding, um, carp at mosquito, maybe some big-eyed, but again, you can probably bring that in. The, you know, the this setup is good if you stick at winding and mosquito for now, okay? So just get one of these. You could get the highest one, but again, we're trying to save the most silver, right? So we're trying to we're trying to be the most less cost, if, if, um, what's it called? Most costly. We don't want the most costly, right? So just get this one for now. You know, if you don't want to buy the kit, the reason why I recommend the kit is because the kit comes with a lot more stuff, right? So if we go to where is it here? The feeder start. They're going to give you the line. They're going to give you the weight. They're going to give you the hooks. They're going to give you the jingle bells. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're going to give you all of that. So that's why it's worth it a little bit to me. But again, if you don't, that's fine. I'm not going to hold against you. All right. So if we go to feeder rods, get this one. 
Don't worry about any other ones until later in the future, all right? This is specifically for beginners only when you first start the game, okay? I'm just skipping the, the float fishing part. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> if you want to see how mad I get at float fishing, I have videos on that about float fishing. And trust me, after watching those videos, you'll see why I don't want to float fish. So, <laughs> so okay, we're going to go to reels, okay? Go ahead and pick yourself up a spark, okay? A spark. Um, I'm not sure if the if the if the beginner rod, like the uh, what's it called? I'm not sure if where is it feeder? If the Sorrento this one can handle, I know it's kind of embarrassing, but I'm not sure if that can handle the second spark. If it can't, don't worry about it and just go with this one. All right, it'll 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 be fine for now. All right, it'll be fine for now. You're not spending a lot of silver on it, so. You see, if you get past winding and uh, mosquito really fast, and you get to Balea and Old Berg really quickly, well then you just buy you can buy upgrade of stuff, right? Because this is what thirty silver within the reel and rod combined. It's forty silver maybe. It's not that expensive, right? The only difference that you're gonna have with this is that the fish, even the small fish, are gonna fight you. It might take you like ten minutes if you get a big fish on fifteen twenty, but again, you know. Would you rather spend more silver or spend less and just be more patient, you know? So this game is all about, even to level 50, it's all about saving silver, okay? Silver is key. The XP is also key, but silver is the main key, all right? Um, XP is the spare key, so. <laughs> all right, so now we talked about all this, you know. Um, you know, I don't really want to talk about this because it, it's more than a beginner, but... If you get to Old Berg, all right, and you want to start bream fishing, go with the Adretica, okay? This is going to be your best friend for Old Berg and probably much more lakes, okay? It's not expensive. Well, it depends who you talk to. <laughs> but it's not that pricey, all right? This 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 reel is actually pretty decent when it comes to bream fishing. If you want perch fishing at Old Berg, a little carp, not bad. It, it will do the trick, all right? So if you're looking for something, an upgraded version of the Spark or any of these, you can try to save up for the Adretica, all right? It's, it's a solid reel. And then from there, you save up for the Caliber HSV, which is... It's somewhere here, right here. This is way down the road, guys. Don't worry about it. But this is that's after the Adretica, if you want. But anyways, stick to beginners only, all right? So the lines that you're going to want to use with that, because I don't think you're going to want to use the line that it gives you, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> so you can easily go ahead and just, you know, use this line. I'm not sure if this is the line it gives you at first. It's been a while since I played beginner. Um, but with that... You got to look at what that was like a f what five kilogram rod and like a four kilogram reel. You can probably go get away with a 7.5 kilogram line 5.6 7.5. All right. These two won't hurt it. I'd recommend one of these two probably more than 5.6 with that setup. But again, 7.5 ain't going to hurt you. So either of these two doesn't really matter. Um, just be careful because the spark is a really trash reel. Um, I know it's better than nothing, but it's trash reel. So you got to remember that if you get a big fish on, you don't got much line on it. This is the, this is like the beginner length line. All right. You, you, it's going to spool you. <laughs> Most likely. Unless you run with it. So just be careful. All right. This line, it does not have much. It has what? Length. 120 meter length. If you're winding, it might be all right. Cause you just chase the fish down. But mosquito, it, mm -hmm. It all depends, all right? But, you know, just this for now, the Indiana green works too. Um, any of these work. You don't need to get fancy yet, all right? That This will work for now, these three. Don't have to worry about getting, like, fancy heavy line, snake line, um, the high-powered nylon. Don't worry about that yet, all right? Not until you get close to, like, Bearish Lake and all that. Don't worry about it. Or maybe sometimes Old Berg depends what you're fishing for. But just get those lines for now, okay? So that's going to cost you around four silver. Again, that's nothing. You can easily get that within probably two fish. So next is your jingle bells. Okay, I don't know why I'm calling it a jingle bell, but I'm just going to call it a jingle bell, all right? Uh, so we want to go to rig components over here. Bite alarm, all right? You don't need the fancy dancy express fishing round bell or the express fishing square bell. The, uh, this one's more of a deeper sound. This one's like a medium deep sound, and this one's a light sound. You, can, you don't. It's all about sound. You don't... 
you don't need to be fancy here, right? You're just listening to see if you've got a fish on. That's it. So just get the twin bells, the jingle bells here. Get those. That's 2.9 silver. Again, that's like one fish. All right, that's going to let you know if the fish is on. You don't have any jingle bells, it's going to be hell. Because sometimes small fish won't even let you know that it's on there. Okay, so you want to make sure you got a jingle bell on there. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna. I had blinks, but don't worry about that. That's so that's wasted silver that you don't need right now. I'm not even gonna talk about that. Just so just get the twin bells, all right? The jingle bells, all right? I'm why do I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with jingle bells, and I don't know why I keep saying that, but okay, there you go. I'm trying to think anything else you need. This, this video is gonna be an hour long, like usual. I don't, I don't mean to, but <laughs> um. No, we talked about that. Talk about that. Talk about that. The hooks and leaders. I was I was literally about to go off without talking about the leaders. Wow, that's embarrassing. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> so for the leaders, okay, you want sixty centimeters, but again, you're not gonna have that because you need the tools for that, and you ain't going to get it. Okay. So, first things first, you're gonna want to get leaders. You know, you can cheat and talk to me. And I'll give you some 60 centimeter leaders, all right? I'm a nice guy. I'm giving away balsa minnows right now as well. I'm no no other YouTuber is gonna do this. I'm the only one. I don't know why I do this. I'm just kidding. I do know why because I love you guys. That's right. I love each and one of you. Okay, I do. That's why I do this. I give you guys all the lures I can get. I, I, well, I have. I'll give you all the leaders I have. I'll give you all the balsas you want. All right. I'll do that for you because I know what it's like starting out this game. It sucks. No, I asked in chat. Nobody helped me. They all laughed at me. You know, nobody helped me. They all looked at me like I was a, that was nothing. Right. So I'm trying to change the future, you know? So I want to make sure that nobody goes through what I did and I want to help out everyone I can. And you know what? I have to see unlocked. All right. I could have had the best of the best equipment by now easily, but because I donate so much to you guys, I don't I never have enough silver to upgrade my equipment, but that's okay. I'm here for you guys. Not really for me I'm here for you. Okay, that's right. I love you too. Okay, so <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're talking about leaders, right? So again, if you don't want to ask me for a leader, that's fine You can go ahead and buy yourself one Make sure it is a fluorocarbon leader never ever 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 get a steel leader Mark my words, you want to go pike fishing? Be my guest. Go ahead and equip the steel leader. I won't stop you. But do not, I mean, do not equip the steel leader if you're not pike fishing. I know a lot of people out there say, you know, you go, oh, yeah, you steel steel leaders, they're good for pike. Oh, yeah, I, I've seen, I've done it myself. Yeah, you can equip steel. I still wouldn't recommend it unless, well, you know, unless you don't really have the kilogram wise because for pike you need like a 28 to 35 kilogram right if you got a trophy on bef before it bites your leader off if you don't have that length like i see here that the fluorocarbon here is only 11.6 kilograms you don't have the options to get the 20 to 35 unless you buy the line you need to buy the tools which you won't have so from there i see the point why you buy steel because 11.6 kilogram fluo it, it will not cut the cheese, all right? It will it will not with pike. That will snap, even a baby pike will snap that off like, like a twig, all right? So I guess if you want to go pike fishing really early on, then I guess steel leaders would be your best friend, all right? But for any other fish, I would recommend fluocarbon. If you're going out winding um, the camp, we'll, we'll, we'll be there in a little bit here, but if you go to winding the camp, I'd recommend 3.1 or 6.4 kilogram. Um... But it would be better if it was 60 centimeters. 60 centimeters means it's stronger, all right? A little bit stronger. Um, so, again, if you want to ask me for leaders, don't hesitate, all right? I'll help you out, all right? I promise you. I promise. Okay? So, yeah. Um, feeder leaders, again, same thing. Fluocarbon. Um, no, I didn't know this. They have carp braid now. Was this always here? Oh, huh, interesting. Okay, well... <laughs> I usually use pure fuel, um, fluocarbon for a feeder leader. Same thing as fin, okay? Same thing. If you're going for carp, I do not recommend that at all. But, you know, you got to learn somehow, right? If you don't, and a lot of people didn't listen to me, and they break, they broke their entire setup. You do not want to fish carp unless you're a higher level and you got the better equipment. But for some reason, you don't want to listen to me. You, you want to try it for yourself, and you want to learn. All right. Well, 
go ahead and use braided leader okay for carp you want braided leaders you know that, that that's just what you want all right all right let's get on what else am i going to talk about here what else am i missing something else no the hooks right <laughs> so bad for that i miss a lot of things um okay so the hooks okay so let's go to hooks Classic is what you're going to be looking at. Don't look at any other ones down here, right? Don't worry about that. Not till later. Way later, okay? So, classic hooks is what you're looking at. The one that you're going to want to really look at is the happy hook. <laughs> okay? The happy hook. This is the one you want. Um, as you can see, it looks like the 24 is the best one because it's sold out, okay? Most shops are going to be sold out unless you go to Volkov. Volkov River will have everything in stock at all times. Um, but any other map, it's a 50-50. <laughs> so, yeah. Man, they get pretty big. Well, you can get a large one happy hook. Wow. Dang. All right. Well, <laughs> you want to make sure 24, 22, 20. These three right here will work wonders. It is 13 silver a hook. I know if you're a beginner, that can be expensive. Okay. Um, but just, just it's... Just save up for it, all right? This is what this is the one you want. You might be float fishing for a little bit, but that's all right. <laughs> You'll get there eventually. Um, you can you can easily use like the Siberia and all that, but I would recommend the Simmons Happy Hook, all right? If you want something fancier, go with the Silk series. But again, I don't recommend it because we're trying to save the most most silver we can, all right? So this one right here, you know, you're probably wondering why you know we're going for the cheapest. Why would you not recommend this one? It's only eighty so uh, zero point eighty silver. Wouldn't this one be the best? No, absolutely not. Do not, do not let your brain start thinking about this. All right, there's a reason why it's so cheap. Okay, so the reason why you don't want any of these is because the cheaper the hook means cheaper the quality, and cheaper the quality means the fish is gonna fall off. If you get any of these ones here, maybe stopping at like one of these two. I'm not sure. I haven't like tested these out before, but like especially these three right here, even this one right here. If you use these four. The most likelihood of your fish falling off is so high that you might lose like one fish out of every three fish. Okay. Just, it's not worth the trouble. It is worth saving up for a little more expensive hook that the fish are going to stay on. Okay. Trust me on this one. Trust me. I I've, I've learned my lesson many times, <laughs> probably over a hundred times. Okay. Learn from me. Okay. There you go there's your setup so without any further ado probably half an hour later how long has it been going on for 17 minutes wow the video should have been ended at 17 minutes but anyways <laughs> first spot there's no cutting here no cutscenes because the first spot is right here okay right off the main dock how easy is that right here there's no walk-in nothing right here so, all right, let's get the inventory out. Okay, it, I know. Don't get mad at me because I'm using a Fortuna, okay? Don't get mad at me. Okay, it, it's going to be the same. The only difference here is that you might fight the fish for like two minutes longer. Okay, do you really want me to sit here and equip your equipment? And you want to see me sit here for five minutes reeling in a fish? I don't think you do. Okay, <laughs> so don't get mad at me that I'm using a Fortuna rod, a really fancy rod, for this tutorial. Okay, all right, so you're going to want to equip... Oh, do I not have any made? I can't believe I record this video without making any. How dare I? I gave it all away. That's how nice I am. So let's really quick here. Let's go ahead and make some. Let's use a 4.1. Use this. It doesn't really matter about the kilogram size here. Uh, you, you have no idea what I'm talking about anyway, so there's no point explaining it. <laughs> all right, let's make three of them. Perfect. All right. Let's equip all this. Yeah, we don't want... No, we're not going for carp right now. No, no, no. Um, I forgot, I forgot to talk about weights, but... Just get the cheapest one you can find. It's no big deal. It's not the end of the world. Like, this one right here is really cheap. Um, this one as well. We'll equip this one. Um, we want the 16 and 4.1. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the Ultra Series hooks. <laughs> now, I'm going to use the Tiny. The one I recommended for you. All right. And then the Red Worms. Okay, so... The bait can get pretty expensive really fast. So what I would recommend doing, I did not show it at the shop, but it's, it's called a bait kit. All right. The bait kit is, is like what? 20 silver, 15 silver, I think it is. And you get a lot of baits with it. A hell of a lot of baits. All right. 
I think it gives you it gives you larvae, lar larvae, larvas. It gives you um, maggots, worms, maybe some mayfly larva. I forget what's in there. Maggots, casters. You you can definitely switch switch it out for all of this. All right. You don't have to use the red worm. You can you can test it out. Put maggots, casters, worms on. Um, what I would recommend because you're trying to save the most silver as possible, go on the weeklies. I'll show you really quick here. Go on the weeklies. You can do all regions. I don't know why I don't like going all regions. I, I am from you. Well, I'm not from USA, but <laughs> my region's USA. So I go to weekly and I go to USA. By all means, you can do all regions. That, that works too. But um, so if you go to all regions, you can kind of see here what they're biting at here. Um, crayfish. Yeah, they're getting all winding. You can get that one. I'm not winding. Sorry. Uh, oh, it is a winding. I thought I said, I seen Akituba and I thought they were all Akituba. <laughs> no, but winding river. Let's see. It says there. I uh, see Mosquito Lake. It'll show you what baits are working for that fish for that week. So you can kind of get an idea. These are pop-ups. These are boilies. These are, yeah, don't worry about that. You're not going to be introduced for that in a while. So, you know, you're going to have to unfortunately ignore these baits for now. See the frogs? They're, these were, These are caught with float rods and they like flies. Okay. Always remember, frogs are float fish. Um, the, yeah, the float fish fish. No. <laughs> yeah, remember that. I don't think you can get flies, at, I mean, on frogs at all, bottom feeding. It's only on um, uh, float. But like I said, you know, get an idea. You can go on forever. You can see what kind of fish are in uh, in um, Mosquito. If you if you go to records here and you go to Mosquito Lake, there you go. There's all the list of the fish that's in here, right? So you can go to absolute records just because they they did a reset every single year they do a reset on the absolute records so this was reset in january february march we're only in the second month Jan okay i lied third month all right so you could go by absolute records for sure it even tells you the date that they caught it on okay this also can be your best friend mosquito there we go oops <laughs> so yeah like common carp, you can get into, you know, some kind of corn. It gives you an idea. You know, Chinese sleeper, they like fish pieces and red worms. There you go. There's an idea right there. I'd, I like corn right now. There you go. So that will give you a little bit of a more helpful idea on what to use. But for now, let's go ahead and I think I might use worms because I, I, I donate all my red worms away. So we'll use this for now until I run out. Um, You see, I want to talk about ground bait, but... I should, but that's just, it'll take me, I, I, I already showed you in multiple videos about ground bait, and ground bait can take a long time to talk about, and I don't want it to be an hour long video, but again, okay, all I'll say really quickly here, if you want to get, uh, use ground bait, you can go buy feeder cages in the shop, buy the cheapest one possible, that will work, okay, and you're probably like, what ground bait do I use, there's so much ingredients you can use, the best I can do, alright, the best I can do for you is go to ground baits, and hopefully one of the fish that you're targeting is on here. Go to Bream. It'll give you an idea of what you need, right? You're not going to have this unlocked. That's the thing. You're not going to have this unlocked. If someone wants to be nice enough in chat and you give them the ingredients for it, they might make it for you. All right, I, I do. So if you want to join my chat, the Canadian Ways Friends, we're all one big half family here, guys. So if you want to come join the chat, my chat is very helpful. They will help you out. They will... I want to say give you stuff, but I'll give you stuff. Don't ask my chat for stuff. I'll give you stuff. All right, message me. <laughs> you can. If I'm not online, go ahead. It won't hurt him. You know, it won't hurt you to try asking him, but I'll help you every time I'm online, which is every day, eight hours a day. <laughs> Seven days a week. But yeah, my chat is very helpful. There was 250 of us in here, but ever since the last two updates of R4, for some reason, I'm back down to 180. R4 likes kicking people out of the chat every update for some reason. I'm not sure why. I thought it was because of the inactive ones, but then I had some active people that was kicked, and it makes me look like an a-hole, because I, for them, it looks like I kicked them, which I don't. Um, but I know, R4 has been a little iffy lately with all the updates. They've been kicking a lot of people off the chat, so yeah, yeah I'm sorry about that. That's not my fault. There's nothing I can do about that. But if you want to join my chat, there you are. Go ahead. We were one big happy family, so come on in, all right? If you want to join my Discord, the link will be down in the description below. We're also one big happy family there too. If you want any help there, a lot of people will help you out. All right. Discord is also a very great way to see what people are catching trophies on and blah, 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 all about that. All right. Um, make sure you join my Discord and um, there's MDogs Discord and there's also their main official RF4 Discord. All right. Those three, if, you, if you're on those three platforms or three pages, 
you, you're gonna have a good you can have a good time right there's gonna be a lot of information on those pages so without any further ado quit my my gap in here let's go ahead and put this to we only need clip 10 all right clips are very important because some fish only bite at a certain clip and if you go too far then the bite rate might slow down so clip prevents you from going past that that um um that did pass that distance so uh, let's see here 64.1 tiny no we're not going to use that one we're going to use a tiny one there we go bait one red worm left okie dokie all right this is the first spot all right yeah oh, i'm using a tutorial for beginners i'm using a dang bingo over here ignore that <laughs> Oh, and let me let me guess. My friction break's all the way up. Be careful with your friction break, guys. Do not max that friction break out. I'm telling you, do not do that. All right. Um, wait till a fish on, then you can up it from there. But yeah, that'll work. Why not? Six point four. Just make sure this is all the way down. Oh, I have no bait on there. Oopsie daisy. Let's put. Well, I guess we're going with um. Screw it. Let's put Megan on there. See what we can get with that. All right, now we just sit and wait. This is definitely one of the spots. Um, is it night crawlers that you use here too? Yeah, I think night crawlers you can definitely use here. So hopefully we get some bites. If this spot's not really active, well, I'll definitely show you other ones, other spots. All right, it's you know if I'm gonna show you a bunch of spots because. If one day one of them is going to be active <laughs> so just try them all until one's active but you'll definitely get some bites here i'll tell you that for a fact i've caught a lot of fish off this dock now it's going to make me look bad because i'm not going to catch a fish <laughs> if you want the canadian way merch we got the hats in we got hold up hold, 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 hold the phone we got okay let's just Okay, if you guys can see that, we got, we got the sweater. Oh, come on, my camera's cutting out. Come on, no, we gotta move the mic a little bit. We gotta move the mic. Oh, you cannot see that. Oh, hold up. Oh, come on, man. That right position. There you go. You kind of see it, right? There's the Canadian Way sweater. We got the shirt coming in tomorrow. That is right. The official shirts are coming in tomorrow. That will be a good time. Let's put this away. Don't drop it. That was expensive. Yes, I gotta. Oops, my bad. Yes, I gotta pay for my own merch. Okay. Do I got anything else? Oh no, I got some mugs coming on the way. I got some. I got a lot of stuff merch coming on the way. Bam! A 158 gram perch. Beautiful. Uh, when you're low level, everything adds up. All right. Oh, let's go I'll keep it for the sake whatever oh, oh we got something else i think hallelujah that's right and you want to know a little secret guys hold up you want to know a little secret if the menu starts glitching out you got a fish on all right i'm not sure if this is, this is an easter egg i'm assuming it's an easter egg because they know about this issue and i'm sure it would have been fixed by now so i'm kind of thinking it's an easter egg they put in the game i don't know some people told me that that's a good idea i'm not sure i'm not sure if it is or not but it can be but if you many tries glitching like this you got something on so it kind of helps you out and because i'm using a fortuna cart rod um the fish most fish if they're not big enough they're definitely not going to let my rod know the light's not going to go off because my rods are meant for big fish so yeah so that's kind of how i tell if i got a fish on because i just look at the menu if it's glitching out hardcore then you got a fish on well it can lie to you sometimes trust me don't get me wrong the glitching menu you go pick your rod up and there's nothing on it can lie to you sometimes so it's not 100 percent correct i'd say it's a bit more 70 percent correct we got a fish on well it says we do yeah we do okay i've caught a trophy perch from the zach spot okay this is definitely a perch honey hole what else can you get here yeah but nighttime you can probably get some burbot here i think oh no oh, i'm gonna move here pretty soon anyways there's another fish on here yeah i'm, just, I'm not gonna spend like 20 minutes on each spot 
just because this video will be an hour long. Um, this is this common roaches, all right? Okay, well, that's one spot. When this spot's active, it is insanely active. Okay, let's try out the other spot now. And for the sake of the video, I might go buy some more red worms because they're just simply the best. Um, depends. If they're all sold out, but like, like a thousand of them, I'm not sure if I want to buy it here. Just because I have the silver does not mean I want to spend it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, they restocked the market. Hallelujah. Let's get let's get 300 of them. I'll spend 100 silver because I'm rich. I am filthy rich. No, I'm not. I lied. That is, that is a complete lie right there. All right. You want to know another spot? All right. Here we go. This is spot number two. This is more of a float spot. Okay. Way, way more of a, of a float spot. But again, this will definitely work. This one, I wouldn't put more than a clip five. Perfect. Right in there. Okay. This is more of a crucian and gibble honey hole, I believe. Uh, let's see here. Clip five. I'm not even sure if this spot's actually still active anymore. I don't know. I'm just trying it out. I'm just trying to show you all the spots where, you know, it could be active. Like I said, I'm showing you every, everything here. If I don't get a bite here, I don't really mind. It was, it used to be an active spot. And it's more, like I said, of a float fishing spot. So I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm thinking that it would be good for bottom feeding too. But I'll find out here really quick. It's very shallow here. Very, very shallow. Ooh, we got some tangerines. We got some onions. Oh, delicious. We got some baked apples. Thank you, Brady. We got some baked apples over here. Who doesn't like some baked apples? We got some gingerbread cookies. We got some cucumbers. We got some cottage cheese. We got some chocolate. We got some lollipops. Lollipop, lollipop. Okay, I'll shut up. So we got that. We got some tea. We got some wine. It's going to be a good day. You guys see that? Seen that move? I seen that rod move. I could go. I could be delusional, but I think I seen that rod move. No, I'm probably just losing my mind. That's probably all it is. Oh no, we got something. Oh yeah, what do we got here? See, it's not on yet. Is the menu glitching? No, I mean it's not on yet. Oh come on! Don't tell me you came off the hook. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, there we go. I knew this was a good spot. Oh, again, it's another perch spot. Look at that. Who doesn't like perch? <laughs> perch number one, baby. All right, what do we got here? Oh, a Chinese sleeper. Ooh, I haven't caught a Chinese sleeper trophy yet, and I need one for this log. Imagine I catch a Chinese sleeper at this spot. I'd lose my mind. I would lose it. In a good way. Nice. Okay. Well, I might come back to you later and try this spot out for Chinese sleepers. I might have just absolutely, I might have just accidentally just found a Chinese sleeper spot. I'll take it. Okay. My guy's always hungry. Would you stop being hungry? I got to feed you 24 hours a day. Have some baked apples, all right? Get stuffed on off some apples. Oh yeah, eat all eat all that apples. Oh yeah, you got oh, you're hungry, aren't you? Stuff those apples down your throat. Okay. Like I want to stay here because I want to get a tiny sleeper trophy now, but this is not about me. <laughs> if I if I stay long at every spot, it will be an hour long video, and a lot of you do not like that long room videos. Okay, there's a perch. All right, on to the next spot. I'm not gonna do this all day. This is not about my benefit here. It's about your guys's. I'll come back here later. Yep, there's some perk. Um, common roach. Okie dokie. On to spot number three. You know, I could cut the video right here and just, you know, save you guys trouble. But, you know what? Let's walk together. It saves me work. So, <laughs> Alright, so the next spot. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, it's not right here. I'm going by memory here. Is that the spot? Hold up. 
that might have been the spot. I'm just going to see if the spot kind of looks like that is up here a little bit more. Okay, oh, maybe it is up here. Um, you know what? I forgot about this spot. This is this was going to be spot number four, but because this one's closer than this one, I'm just going to make... I can't remember if it's that spot or is it this spot. No, it's this spot. This is where it was. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so because this one's closer, we're going to start with this spot right here. This is another spot you can go at right here, all right? Put red worms on. You want clip 15 for this spot. Or is it clip 10? How far does this go? Definitely clip 10. Okay, I'm wrong. Clip 10, okay? Clip 10. Not go up. We want to go down. There we go. Okay. I'm so, I'm so excited I got that Chinese sleeper. Oh uh, boy. Okay, clipped in. All right. And you know what? To be, to be brutally honest with you, I have no idea if these spots are still active. But it looks like every single spot I went to is active right now, which is fantastic. We already got a bite on rod number one here. There we go. Talk to daddy. There we go. Come on. What do we got? Ooh, 370 gram perch. We got a big boy. All right. Uh, this spot is where I caught my trophy white bream at. Uh, I was going to show you, but whenever. Let's fish in first. Hold on. Perch. Yeah, I'll show you here really quickly. So if we go to, no, not records. We want statistics. Statistics. Oh, there we go. Um, trophies. Mosquito. Oh, there's no white bream trophy on here. All right. Well, if that's the case, if that's how you want to play it, then we'll just go down to white bream. Where are you? Right here. Mosquito Lake Worm. I, I, I was using red, um, red worms for days, and I got so fed up not getting one, so I switched it to a worm. And the very first time I put a regular worm on, I caught this. So you can definitely try regular worms out too. It is a lot cheaper. What do we got on rod number two? What do we got here? Oh yeah. Another perch. All right, I, I, like I said, I'm not staying here long at all. I'm just showing you what spots are which. If you want to see an actual lengthy video on active spots, I have a ton of them on my channel. That's like an hour long. Let's pick this one up. I'll wait till the other fish bites and then I'll lift it up because it is, get, it is getting nighttime and nighttime can be a little slow and I don't want that. Come on, fish. Swallow that hook. Come on. Just swallow it. Come on. It's not that hard. Swallow it. Swallow it. So I'll swallow it deep and good so that the hook doesn't come out. Come on. <laughs> Yes, dude. Okay, let's see. We got. Oh, look at that! There's the white bream. There we go. All right, spot number three, if I'm not mistaken. It's over here. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. We still have a winding rivulet to go to. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I know it's not that far away. I think yeah, this one's clip ten, right? Yeah, I th you could probably use clip eight as well. That probably will work. But I'm just gonna use clip ten for now. Perfect. All right. Hopefully we'll get something here. This is okay. With this spot, you got to um, realize that you're probably going to get nothing but perch at the spot. But this is a nighttime spot. You will get a lot of roughy. I, when I mean a lot, a lot. The one night I was told about this spot, and I'm pretty sure it's this spot. I'm hoping it's not that spot over there because they both kind of look similar, but um, it might have been that spot over there. You, you know, if you go back in the video and said, oh, I think it's this spot. It might have been that one. Try the this one or that one. It's one of... <laughs> There's so many spots I can't remember. Um, but this one or the other spot that was over there, I the very first time I fished there, I got a trophy roughy, like a, like 170 gram roughy. Like it was huge. The very first time I fished there. We got a bite. 
What is this? Is that a bream? That's a bream. Okay. Again, we're going to move on. I don't like sticking here long. We got one fish. That's it. But again, this is, this is another spot. Oh, we got something on here. Look at that. Another bream. Right. I think this is the spot. I think it is because I remember catching. It wasn't perch. It was bream that I was catching all day. And at nighttime, the roughies came out. So at nighttime, I think this is the spot. I'm 80% sure this is the spot for roughy. So you can go there. I'm just trying to save you time because if you try to find a random spot yourself and put your lure in there or your um your rod, most likely you're going to get nothing. All right. It looks like you can, but like, you will eventually. Don't get me wrong. Get a bite anywhere you go, but it might take a while. So the next spot, like this looks juicy right there along the weeds. would look like a juicy spot, but it's not a spot that I know of. So I'm not going to bother. I don't want to waste time in this case. It's not. Another spot. This looks another like a good juicy spot. I'm just thinking like real life, right? In real life, this would be just fantastic. But okay, so this is the last spot. I'm not gonna show the the, the one I want to because I know it's not active anymore. Um, so we're gonna ignore that spot. That spot is like right here. It's you can find my video on. I have a video on that spot, and I caught a lot of fish there. Okay, so this is the other spot right here. You, it Honestly, for this spot, it doesn't matter if you go here, if you come here, if you go on that side, if you go on that side, it does not matter. Trust me, it does not. Not for this one. So here we go. This is the huge perch honey hole. This one, you'll catch some pretty big, big, big perch. Um, let's see what we can do here really fast. I'm hoping it's still active. I've came here so many times. It's getting nighttime. No, I still got winding to do yet. Winding, there isn't very many spots. Um, yeah, I, I, I the, the, the spots I'm going to show you is the one that's in my video. I created a video on like a month ago, a month and a half. So if you want more of a full, you know, like me fishing at one spot for like half an hour each, then you can go watch that video. I think it's, it's, it's after spot for beginners at winding review it. Yeah, it's getting nighttime. I don't think that I know the winding spots I'm going to show you are not that well. The one is good at night. Yeah, that's for donut roughy. So I'm, I might fish there, but this is getting around. What is it? 42 minutes. Are you serious? Oh, of course, it's 42 minutes. I thought it was like 15. Damn it. Wow, of course, another hour long. I try so hard to make a 15 minute long video and I open my yap and it ends up being an hour long. Six sakes. You see, when I when I say it's a monster perch spot, it is. The first one is a 662. Okay? So, again, there we go. I caught one. And then we got another bite. So, we'll let that one do its thing. We'll catch the reel that one in. And then we're going to head on to Winding Rivulet. I know I got like 2,000 T because um, Cool Devil and who else was it? Are you, are you going to hate me because I'm going to forget you? I'm so sorry. It's Cool Devil and someone else that keeps giving me tea, and I appreciate you. Like I said, if you want to join my chat, it's called the Canadian Waste Friends. Go ahead. One big happy family. 90% of the time. Until we get a toxic person, I gotta kick him. <laughs> oh, come on. Just swallow the hook, would you ready? We don't have old bloody day. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in there and haul you up by the gills if you don't bite this with the next five seconds. And don't test me. Yeah. If I leave this, it'll be a trophy purge. We all know it. I when fish do this, sometimes it can take like five minutes for it to bite. Eighteen o'clock. Dang it. Screw it. I know there's nothing on. It would have been it would have been like a six hundred gram purge or something, but there you go. That's this spot. Now let's move on to winding rivulet. Yeah, well, you know, there's no cutscenes here. Maybe that's why it's 44. It's 44 minutes long because I'm not cut cutting anything out. I'm fat and lazy. I don't feel like cutting anything out right now. <laughs> if I had to, I would. But um, okay, that's a spinning spot over there. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the first two spots, these spots, I'm not gonna fish at. If you want, okay, you know what? Hold up. Hold the phone one second things in the way uh, is it here? okay can't. 
I got some beverages. I haven't drank yet. It's still full. I haven't opened them yet. I was, I was going to open them, but I decided to record a video. Uh, let's see here. We want... YouTube. I'm just going to pull up the video really fast because I'm not going to fish these two spots. The last one I will, but not this one. Um, let's see here. My channel. Previously. Previously on... Okay, let's see. <laughs> Hold up, which one is it? Which one is it? Do, 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 do. How long ago did I make that? No, it wasn't before that, was it? Could have been. No, that okay, that that okay. This video is for that spot I was at. Now we don't want we don't want that one. Bloody hell, where is it? Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this video up really quick here for you guys. Okay. Yeah, ads. Okay, I don't like ads. Um, I'm just going to mute that for a second. Let that play. I could buy YouTube Premium, but I'm too cheap for that. Um, I think if you're a content creator, you should have free YouTube Premium. Prove me wrong. Uh, okay, so... Actually, what am I even looking at that video for? I can just show you the main screen. And I lost it again. Are you kidding me? Oh, the phone. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. There it is. Okay, let's, can, I, can I full screen this? Okay, I'm going to have to do this first. Okay, so... Uh, this one right here, alright? Right here. Five months ago, from the very top, it is right here. Rush Fish 4, Ronnie Rivling, Add to Spot for Beginners. If you, it's a 44 minute long video, so if you want to see me fishing these two spots, go ahead and watch this one right here, alright? Okie dokie. Now we can move on. Okay? I'm still going to show you the spot where it is, but I'm just not going to fish there because it's nighttime now. And I really want to see if I get some donut roughy on the last spot. Okay. This one's a little bit of walking, but that's all right. That is a okay. Just got to keep on walking, keep on walking. Can't believe it's going to be an hour long video. Unbelievable. If you're still here in this part of the video, give me a thumbs up in the comments below. I am so I'm so curious who stays this long in the video. <laughs> probably nobody. I'm probably talking to myself right now. But if you're still here at this point in the video, I am really shocked if you are. And I, it means the world to me if you're still here. Um, but yeah, put a thumbs up in the in the comment section below if you are still here. I will be I'd be astonished if anyone is here. <laughs> All right, I'm not fishing the spot right. Okay, so clip 10, red worm right here, okay? Wait, you might you're going to get a lot of goodgins. This is where I got my trophy goodgin, all right? You're going to get some naces, maybe some donut ruffies, some regular ruffies, some naces, some freshwater crawfish or crawdads, whatever you're from. Um Mussels, zebra mussels, um, freshwater mussels. Really good. Second spot is right here. <laughs> so the first one's right here. Oh, nice fish. And this one is right here, right? Clip eight, I think. My other video will explain more of what clip this one is. But I think it's clip eight or ten. Clip eight or ten, it'll work. We put it this way, and this one's more of a mussel. You get so many freshwater mussels at this point right here you don't get as for some reason you don't get as many here you get more goodgin here at this one than you do here at this one you get more freshwater mussels than you do goodgins it, it's weird i don't know why but yeah clip eight ten same thing right here and then right here so you get two for one it's a win-win situation you got two spots in one okay oh wow come on save trophies for the rest of us would you oh i pressed nice fish but the game didn't register it oh whatever i love you lee Oh, it makes me look like an asshole because I didn't say nice fish. It's not my fault the game glitched out. Okay. Wait, what'd Savage get? Wait, whoa. Savage got the Atlantic Mackerel Trophy. Man, I haven't caught an Atlantic Mackerel Trophy in months. Anyways, get back on topic here. Let's keep on going. We have to walk all the way back. Yeah, I know. I could cut the video out, but again, you're hanging out with me, right? What do you want to talk about? All right, to walk all the way back. It's 21 o'clock. Yep, I know. Come on, move those dang legs, man. You got two feet, use them. Or two legs, use them. Come on now. I wish you could run. 
Because this ain't running, man. This is fast walking. I want to book it. I want to be Usain Bolt over here. Come on. Well, technically, there is two spots over here, I guess. I gotta stop lying. There's like two spots over here. Yeah, fine. I'll show you that other spot. I'll show you the other one. Okay, I'm moving the map. I can't believe I'm actually looking at the map, the winding. Get the flashlight out before it gets dark and Bigfoot eats me alive. Making my way downtown. Okay. Finally, 20,000 years later, we are here. First spot is going to be on this boat, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this spot. I'm not, you know what? That's not another spot. It's the same spot. You can either go beside this boat or in front of these weeds right here. I'm going to go in front of the weeds right here because I that's where I always go. I've tried the boat, but clip 10. And that flashlight's not very bright. I'll tell you that much. This is the donut roughy spot. Why do you think I saved this spot until nighttime? I mean, it's very active during the day too. Don't get me wrong, but I just like coming here for the donut roughies. I've been coming here for months and I'm stuck. I always get stuck. Goodness gracious. Okay. You want to know how to get unstuck? Cast it far like that. Or that too. <laughs> Um, but you want to yank it like this and you'll come loose every time. You don't have to quit the game. You'll come loose. All right. I wish Arthur would fix that, but that's all right. I'm not blaming them. They have their hands tied. I understand that. Um, let's see here. All right. Don't want it roughies. Okay. While I'm getting, while the fish are biting that, I'm going to show you another spot. Because again, it's yeah, 51 minutes. I just, <laughs> oh man. Okay, so let's head on over here. Okay. Let's head on way, way over here. Okay. You see that tree right here? You see that tree falling over? You want to come right here, right here. 106.99, clip 10 again, red worm, yes. And this, that is a nay spot. 100% nace spot during the day. So if you're looking for some nice naces, oh, by all means, go there. But that's not a donut roughy spot. Not at all. You also get a lot of freshwater crayfish there as well. A lot. So that's another spot. Alright, let's head back down. Hopefully we got at least one bite right now. We should. We might. Depends. Do we have anything on? Oh. Oh, yeah, see, my rod's a cart. Oh, I got off. Wow. I see how you want to play this game. I see how you want to play it. Okay. Yeah, these are cart rods, so unless you get a bigger fish on, it ain't going to tell you you got something on. <laughs> oh, there's a wide-eye bream for the first one of the night. I'll take that. you got to love wide-eyes. Okay. We got something here. No. Okie dokie. No, oh, I got something on this one. If you pull, if you get any trophies from the spots I showed you, please let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. Oh. Oh, that is a nice, beautiful freshwater crayfish. Look at that bad boy. Look at that sexy beast. Look at those tentacles coming out. Those are not tentacles. I, 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 I don't know. They're, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> That's what happens when you drop out in grade nine. Uh, <laughs> you know none. Um, but look at that sexy beast. Look at those sexy legs. All right, I'm being weird. I know. Tell me something I don't already know. Okay, let's put this rod back down. Let's see what we got here. What do we got in rod number one? Ooh, a white bream. Okay, man. Tonight is the night. We got some white eyes, some white breams. This is my kind of night. What we got here? Now oh, we got perch, of course. 69. 69 perch. What is with this game? Every time I record a video, I always get a 69 in there. Every single time. <laughs> Every 
every single time, man. <laughs> oh, God damn. When is it 16? Okay, let's release that back in there. So one of you can catch that fish. <laughs> All right. Let me guess, the next one's going to be an actual 69. I oh, know, the start's not bad. Not bad at all. See, if I buy the, the professional fillet knife, I can actually harvest those crayfish, crawfish, crawdads, whatever you want to call them. And then you can use them as bait. You can also use mussels as bait, too, on, if you got the professional knife. Yeah, I I came here like every single night for the past like two weeks in a row, but I stopped going here because I think I cleaned the whole entire river out and I would get nothing during the night. So I just quit coming here and I was like a few days ago. So hopefully that was my last stream, actually my last stream. Yeah. If you guys don't know on my channel, if there are more videos, if you go to live instead of videos, there'll be a hell of a lot more videos that if you want to watch you probably missed. Okay. Not all my videos show up on the video page because technically they're live streams and for YouTube, they put it on a live page. So if you go to my channel, there'll be videos and live. Click on live and you'll see all of my lives that I did for RF4. Not all of them because I used to be on Twitch. Twitch is a scam site. I don't like them anymore. Um, if you subbed to me for $8, I might have got a dollar off that. And I did not want to support that company anymore, so I left. On YouTube, if you donate $5 to me, I get like $4.20, $4.30. Now that I'm okay with. Twitch is outright scam. Alright. <laughs> so that's the reason why I'm not there anymore. Damn, Daniel, we got a 400 gram white eye bream. Wow. Damn. That's close to a trophy, I think. 600 a trophy, I think, or 700. Damn. Another white bream. Oh my goodness. That's probably the best night I ever had. If I got a white eye bream trophy, man, I would, I would leave, flip my chair. I'd be so happy. Yeah, I caught, I, I had like a 50 kilogram carp at Amber the other day. Um, it took like an hour to reel in on the Vanga, and that tells you something. I saw a glimpse of it. I caught a blue tag frame. This fish looked like it would have ate my blue tag frame for breakfast. It was the most biggest carp I've ever seen in my life. It was the size of a boat, and I'm not lying to you. I was reeling it in. I seen a long dock that went out. I'm like, you know what? Maybe we can save some time and go in the dock and reel it in. That was a bad decision. I went on the dock. I was reeling it in. I fell off the dock and it respawned me back at base camp. My chair was thrown across the room. I was not happy camper. I didn't return to my, my gaming room for about a couple hours maybe. I was so mad, beyond belief. That was probably the that was probably a world record carp right there. And everyone was telling me that was probably a leather carp. Ah oh, and leather is the one I need too. Oh, well. Oh, there. Story time's over. That That's sick. See, okay, well, it, it does work. I just don't have to wait on it. Like, the big enough weight. Hold up. Okay, you're stuck right now, right? Hold up. There we go. And now I probably scared all the fish away. Fantastic. Can I get one donut, Ruffy? Please? No? 58 minutes. I don't, I don't want to go over an hour, so I'm probably just going to end it now, guys. That's what we got. I'm not going to sell the fish because it's just not enough. But those are the active spots. And I, I'm going to catch probably a blue tag donuts fluffy now because I, I'm going to end it. <laughs> but yeah, that this these those are the active spots. If you want to find more active spots, make sure to join the RF4 official Discord. So you can join MDog's Discord or you can join mine. All right. If you can join all three if you want. And they're all going to give you useful tips. All right. We all got trophy pages. We got hot spots. We got all of that. So it will help you out. Um, if you want to experience yourself and try to find active spots for, on your own, by all means, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can definitely try, all right? And I was impatient there. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I appreciate each and one of you for watching my content. You guys are amazing. Again, if you're still here, remember to put the thumbs up button, uh, thumbs up down in the comment section below, so I know you're still here. It makes makes my day. Man, the white dreams. Gosh, so good. I <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching. And hope we all have a good rest of the test. And take care.